they got the nerve to say that he has the right to express himself and then turn around and find the man $100,000, I thought he had freedom of speech. They say it in that statement. He has the freedom of speech, but it doesn't speak for the whole organization. Well, them jokers kneeling on the field and putting all them vile celebrity criminals on their jerseys and shoes and socks don't speak for everybody either. But y'all force that on everybody. If y'all haven't been keeping up with the story, Jack Del Rio, um, he got fined 100000 He's the defensive coordinator for the Washington Commanders, which is a dumbass name to me. Uh, but we'll digress on that. I, I actually miss the Redskins, but it started with a tweet. Let me go down. Um, I have a highlight. This is what he tweeted. Del Rio defended a reply he made on Twitter two days earlier when he tweeted, would love to understand the whole story about why the summer of riots, looting, burning, and the destruction of personal property is never discussed, but this common sense, meaning this meaning this whole uh, J6 committee, the whole charades, the political theater that's going on, and the, the, the shit that happened a year ago that they keep on putting it on primetime TV and making a big deal about it when we all know it's nothing but political theater so that they can attack their opponent that they fear the, the life of God. They fear him, the, Donald J., the great MAGA king. They fear him so much. So this is just more smear campaign to try to either get him locked up for something that he didn't even do, that they're guilty of in our own record doing so many times, but to try to prevent him from being able to run again because they fear him. Um, he also goes on to say uh, he felt that there were two standards being applied and that he was just expressing his opinion. But in response to the final question of his uh, uh, of his news, Conference Del Rio called the United States Capitol invasion a dust-up. And it was a dust-up. What he said was correct. It was a dust-up compared to uh, J6, compared to the burn, looting, and murdering that Black Lives Matter did. It is a dust-up. So I want to play this quick clip because i don't see nothing wrong with what he said and then uh, i'm gonna give you my last closing remarks on it i think we all as americans have the right to express ourselves especially if you're being respectful i'm being respectful i just asked a simple question really did i let's get right down, down to it what did i ask a simple question why are we not looking into those things if we're going to talk about it why are we not looking into those things because it's kind of hard for me to say I can realistically look at it. I see the images on TV. People's livelihoods are being destroyed. Businesses are being burned down. No problem. And then we have a dust up at the Capitol. Well, there's no, nothing burned down. And we're not going to talk about We're going to make that a major deal. I just think it's kind of two standards. And if we apply the same standard, and we're going to be reasonable with each other? Let's have a discussion. That's all it was. And I don't see nothing wrong with what he said. What he said is based. Um, and he was reasonable. He used his freedom of speech. He was reasonable. Where he messed up is when he apologized for calling it a dust-up. He should have stayed on his dean. It is a damn dust-up. It's not even comparable. Billions of dollars of damage to not only personal property, but um, government property, uh, 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 massive amounts of assaults on innocent people. People have lost their lives and law enforcement lost their lives and been uh, 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 assaulted. It ain't even comparable. J6, you had 70-year-old women walking around taking selfies. People are just casually having conversations with the Capitol Police. The Capitol Police inviting them in as well as uh, helping them pick up trash. It's not even comparable. And they keeps calling it an insurrection with no weapons, nothing. So we know what this is. This is political theater. And they're going to use it. They'll be talking about this shit 10 years from now. They'll go, oh, the threat of our democracy. First of all, we're in a constitutional republic where we vote and put the people that represent their constituents to help pass laws that represent their, their constituents. Not a democracy, but... If we're going to speak that language of democracy, what will kill a democracy the quickest is when you see that people don't value life, right? Right now, we we literally, I'm going to do content on it. We had a, a, a Supreme Court justice, literally someone attempted to try to assassinate a Supreme Court justice. The first step of killing any democracy is when you don't value life. Secondly, is when you don't enforce the law in place to value life or anything else uh, uh, centered around law. 
So the, the quickest way to see it is when you see our Department of Justice completely have bias towards one political group, but they have a whole nother hyper hyperbolically focused when it comes to the other political faction. And that's what's going on. And that's what uh, Jack is saying. He said, wait a minute, there's a double standard here. You guys are hyperly focused on something that happened a year ago that everybody can see is not as bad as you guys are making it to be. Um, yeah, AOC may be saying that she was scared to death and got post-traumatic stress when we all know she was literally across the damn street lying her ass off. And you got D.C. Uh, Capitol Police crying like damsel in distresses with political uh, theater tears. I'm calling bullshit bullshit. They want to keep talking about this and putting it on primetime TV when we have – it's a complete dumpster fire in, in D.C. right now. When we have so many more more important things to be talking about, like inflation, gas prices, cost of food and uh, supplies, people are even rationalizing baby formula, the invasion at, the, 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 at our borders. There's so many more things that are more, more important in our country than you to continue to keep talking about this J6 shit. But the reason why they do it is because they're trying to attack their political opponent, Mr. Great MAGA King, the ultra MAGA. This is why they do it. The Democrats got nothing left. They know they're going to get slaughtered at the polls. And it's sad that we don't even have freedom of speech no more. To people like uh, uh, Jack Del Rio, they have the, 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 the gall to speak out and say what is the truth, and this is what they do. We're going to find you, threaten your job, and we're going to demonize you and paint you out to be some kind of racist when what he said was legitimate. And he asked just a respectful, open dialogue and shed a light on something that we all see as a hypocrisy and a double standard. What's wrong with what he said? Why is he being punished for that? You, we literally had people kneeling and expressing how they wanted to feel, but the moment that you go against the establishment, this is what happened. I don't know. What's y'all's thoughts? I think this is bullshit. If this is your first time listening in, man, I appreciate you taking the time to listen. Please subscribe, share, like, comment. I answer them all the best I can. It's your boy, Craig Law 45. You know what it is. I'm out. Peace. Yeah, oi. <laughs>